what if your quiet mind could nudge the world's most mysterious machine and we can prove it? Hey folks, Justin with the Orange Beard here. No incense, no crystal pyramids. We're talking raw qubits, registered brainwaves, and stats that should survive peer review. Today I'll show you how consciousness might leave fingerprints on real quantum hardware and why even though the idea is still speculative, the data is intriguing enough to test instead of dismiss, and how you can try it yourself. The study centers on quantum consciousness field theory, QCFT for short. It predicts that when meditators hit deep theta or delta, a quantum computer sitting miles away will display specific changes in coherence, entanglement, entropy, and phase. Key detail here, we pre-registered every prediction. That means no post hoc cherry picking. Whatever came out of the machine had to match the forecast or the theory was toast. Here's the hardware friendly version that I actually ran. Think of it as a star within a pentagram. One central control qubit, five inner nodes in a pentagon linked with a custom P5 gate, five middle nodes and five outer nodes. Scaled down so the whole thing fits on mid-sized IBM backends. We auto-submitted that circuit every three minutes, kicking off 15 minutes before meditation, cruising through the 22-minute audio, and rolling 40 minutes past the end. No mid-circuit feedback on the live device. Everything's baked into the gate pattern. Phase coding is golden ratio and Fibonacci heavy. Cheap numerology joke, serious interference control. First, a field reset pattern zeroes the qubits, then a coherence establishment sweep of Hadamards, then an entanglement cascade that walks CX gates around the ring. Participants were scattered across the planet, synced to within two seconds through a Discord countdown. Three, two, one, hit play. They listen to the same binaural or isochronic track with a guiding prompt. No EEG caps, no fancy wearables, just headphones, a timer, and a quiet room. After each session, participants typed a quick diary entry, then waited 30 minutes before any follow-up. Meanwhile, two independent, non-retrieval LLMs extracted numerical metrics, coherence, entanglement, entropy, phase, still blind to meditation versus control. Humans saw the numbers only after the labels were locked in. Now, none of these break the experiment, but they do frame the findings as exploratory. Replication is how we level up. This is the exact five node ring, zero angles tweaked. Upload it, set your shot interval. Three minutes is what we used, and the scheduler fires until you tell it to quit. No manual triggering, totally hands off by design. Headline number, coherence jumped 23% during meditation with P is less than 0.01. That is solid. Entanglement showed a trend around P is around 0.066, alluring but not courtroom evidence yet. Quick reality check, a 23% coherence bump is exciting, yet until other labs see the same curve, we treat it as provisional evidence, not a victory lap. Entropy moved from white noise chaos to low entropy structure, implying less randomness. Phase relationships synced in neat harmonic bands. Blind analysis matters. The AI pulled raw coherence, entanglement, entropy, and phase data before anyone knew which shots were during meditation. When the seal broke, the metric spikes lined up with the meditation window in roughly 80% of runs. Coherence jumped 23%. The Pentagon showed phase-locked oscillations absent from the baseline. Entropy dipped towards structure rather than noise. Hey, Justin, this is Joe Ewell, just giving you my testimony for my uh, experience on the 7-11 meditation. Uh, as I said, I started on time within just a second or two of the synchronized timers. Took me a little bit to settle into... Um, relaxation, but um, as we progressed through the um, the meditation and the spiral visualization, I did start relaxing uh, and fully getting out of my body. When we um, when we got to the point that the spirals were widening and we were seeing the other spirals sort of start intersecting, 
I definitely felt like a warm sensation in my chest and, and gratitude and opening up. And like I mentioned, there was also some brief visual impressions of like crystal shapes, like pentagons um, mainly, but sort of like the angles of them changing and the lengths of the sides sort of rotating and spinning. Um, and then I was sort of like sort of fuzzing in and out of focus or, or um, relaxation in the meditation um, until later the strongest experience was when the um, when uh, you're talking about the flower with the center of stillness and I was visualizing that from all the spirals at the edges and just sort of that center rapidly widened and opened like a pupil until the edges of the flowers at the very end looked like an iris and it was just very clearly an image of a single eye covering my entire field of awareness. There was an eyelid and eyelashes as well. Um, and like I say, the flower was the, the pupil and the iris. Uh, and that lasted for quite a while. Um, I you know, don't know exactly how long, but um, yeah, I sort of like my, my attention went away from it for a bit. And then when I kind of like phased back in, it was still there. So... Uh, that was that was one of my main strongest experiences, but definitely really enjoyed it and happy to give any more detail if I can. If subsequent studies knock these effects down to noise, we still learn something about decoherence and measurement. If they hold, we edge toward a testable bridge between mind and matter. Either way, speculation becomes data-driven. If these findings replicate, they yank on three giant loose threads. The measurement problem, the hard problem, and the spooky observer effect. Maybe consciousness isn't just in the passenger seat. Maybe it's tugging the steering wheel. Good news. The barrier to entry is coffee money small. IBM offers free Q access. I posted the code, meditation, audio, and analysis scripts. You can run a single participant pilot this weekend. Low competition frontier, publish a null result, still goal. Publish confirmation, paradigm shift cred forever. Protocol pack includes 6 hertz, theta, delta audio, the kiss kit code, a Python notebook for stats. Link lives below. I spun up the quantum consciousness replication hub. Post your design before you hit run. Eliminates hindsight bias. Share raw data even if it screams no. Science grows by replication, not proclamation. If you're running a study, drop a comment. Maybe we'll feature your results. Hit subscribe for updates, grab the resource pack, and let's see what happens when we put consciousness under a microscope.